Buffalo, Wyoming is a quaint little western town located in the north central section of the state in Johnson County. It's nestled between vast rolling plains and the very scenic and enormous Bighorn Mountains. Buffalo is home to a variety of outdoor activities including hiking, boating, hunting, fishing and more. Recently, the town became home to the annual Longmire Days Festival, celebrating the A&E television series Longmire, which models its very existence. A complete pancake breakfast is served to large crowds of people by the Buffalo Kiwanis. The newly renovated Crazy Woman Square is at the heart of many Longmire Days activities. Books, 
clothing and other fan supplied items. Lines form down Main Street as fans of Longmire wait for autographs and to get pictures with the stars of the show. Craig Johnson, author of the Longmire series, participates in book signings throughout the two-day event. Oh, look at that one. So does Vic really run for president in the oh, last episode? So <laughs> Let's hope so. Somebody's got to run this town. Oh. Oh, Branch, would Vic say you were as despicable in real life as your character? <laughs> you want to answer that one? Or? Is he as despicable in real life as his character? Hell yeah! <laughs> Not at all. Not at all. <laughs> Local businesses offer specials and Longmire souvenirs. Bartley talks about his role as Ferg in the show. Being Ferg on the Longmire series, how does that relate to your personal life? Well, it it's actually relates a lot because this is one of my this is my first kind of big role, big role in TV and film. You know, I was a stage actor for so many years, and so showing up on set, you know, it's not that difficult for me to pretend that I'm new because the Ferg is new at the job. And I'm new at the job. And so those things kind of go together. And so it was really easy, actually. Everything's new for me. And so, you know, it, it, it works. You know, it's, it's life indicating our. You have a wonderful personality. Thank you. You really do. Thank you. Thanks for saying that. It's Longmire Days is the coolest thing. It's, it's so much fun to see you meet all these people who love the show. And we're just so blessed to be here. It's a special time for us as a cast and for the show. We hope we can all keep doing this every year. The softball game at Przinsky Park Baseball Field features actors from the Longmire TV show. Fees associated with most activities go to support the Wounded Warrior Project, the actor's charity of choice. Autographs on everything. So. so, what do you think of Longmire Days here? In the I think it's so neat. 
I think this is neat. I will definitely come next year. Yeah, we'll be here next year for this again. This is Absolutely. Cool. And we'll bring lots more people too. Oh. The little sister, don't you? The little sister, don't you? The free Longmire Day street dance provides entertainment for everyone with music by Gary Small and the Coyote Brothers. The town of Buffalo honors its tradition of being a respectful, friendly place during large crowd events. Jason Carter, the Buffalo Police Department. Uh, the Longmire Days, second year, have been awesome. Huge turnout this morning, another nice turnout tonight. So, awesome event. Police Chief Jason Carter comments on crowd behavior during the street dance. You know, like this morning for the Pancake Festival and the autographs, huge crowd. Over 2,000 people, awesome people again. They wait in line, they're patient. Uh, like the dance today in the softball game, they've been awesome work for No complaints, just warm weather. So it's been awesome. Horseback riding at the Paradise Ranch is just one of many charitable events that the actors and public can participate in. Cassidy Freeman discusses her experience with the ride and Longmire Days in general. What did you think of the ride? It was beautiful. Yeah, what do you think of Longmire yeah. Days? Um, super fun. All right, yeah. a big part of it. Yeah, well thank you. I didn't expect such a turnout and I'm pleasantly surprised. Well great. Yeah. Plan on coming back next year? Absolutely. All right, that yeah. sounds great. No question. Well thanks, it was yeah, great welcome. seeing you. you too. I'm 
do that. I was asking where in Buffalo. <laughs> Who's this for? Sue, S-U-E. You go. You are set my pleasure. Tell her I said hi. <laughs> Who's this for, dear? Jane. Jane, J-A-N-E. Here you go. My pleasure. You may. Come on over. Generally, my impression is the women smell better. Hi, I'm Jane Young Navarrete, and I just came from the Johnson County Library for Craig Johnson's book signing. What did you think of uh, the Longmire Days events? It's been a lot of fun. I think they did a really good job putting it together since it was so much bigger than what they did last year and had very short notice doing it. I'm hoping we'll have many more years of it. The weekend wraps up with Adam Bartley, The Ferg, hosting a live comedy and karaoke event at the Occidental Saloon. Here we the one and only, The Ferg! For the longest time, if you said goodbye to me tonight, if you notice, Ruby always has questions. I would not leave you. Uh, no, he said, you heard gunshots. I was like, I'm okay. This is my own. She took the midnight train going anywhere The movie never ends, it goes on and on and on and on I think the Ferg has a chance to be sheriff in season 8 Day's event generated approximately $5,000 in donations to the Wounded Warrior Project. The two-day event provided a significant boost to the local economy. For more information about Longmire Days, contact the Buffalo Chamber of Commerce at 307-684-5544 or visit www.buffalowyo.com.